not that much that a court can do. Uh, I think the court did the right thing in Massachusetts against EPA when it decided that a state whose coastline was going to be eroded by global warming has enough stake in the outcome so that it should be allowed to go to a federal court and challenge the EPA's decision not to address the problem. So courts can nudge government agencies with more relevant expertise. Um, and I think it was a good thing that the U.S. Supreme Court did uh, because it's, generally speaking, moving in the direction of shutting the doors of courts, making it harder for people to get into court and move agencies along. Uh, this was a 5-4 to four decision. It was the only important 5-4 decision in which the court this term moved in a slightly liberal direction. All the others, the other 23 5-4 decisions were, were right-leaning decisions with Kennedy in the majority in, in all 24, including Mass v. EPA. Uh, but I think although the court could play in the 1950s and 60s and 70s a role in advancing social justice, uh, I think that the steps that are needed to deal with the environment, the global threat of nuclear warfare, require a, a political leadership and not simply an affirmation of principle, an affirmation of decency and justice. So I think there is very little that a court can do. There is a fair amount that the court could do to make things worse, I suppose. I mean, it could have decided mass v. EPA differently. Uh, it, it could pay little attention to what's going on in the rest of the world. Thank you.